Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I play various video games, mostly city builders. Now let's look around and catch up where we were. I think yes, we have a cold wave coming in, which will increase our power consumption. And we should do something about that, but I don't know what. I think I think we have to build more solar panels. Let's check on the map. We are exploring and yes, I think we are trying to find a place for a new dome. Because we need to put more factories. We need to produce electronics and polymers as well. Polymer is the easy one because we need only uh, water for that. But the not so easy one is the electronics. And we can still buy a few things from Earth, but our resources are limited. Okay, so let's get into it and let's see how the cold wave will affect us. But now that we are uh, have, we have, what do we have? Uh, machine parts production that means uh, we are able to build more wind turbines and I Sector think scan. a couple of wind turbines would be beneficial right now because uh, they can work or they can produce uh, energy during night time as well How about putting a couple of down here? That will help. No, I don't want to build more cables. Let's... We have two new anomalies. Okay. And our explorer is going. To one of them. That's alright. Okay, let's speed up things a little bit. And we still can win this, right? Because there is no more time-sensitive stuff here. Oh, if we research enough breakthroughs, we got a good amount of money. And we will get a new rocket when we analyze enough anomalies. That's also very nice. Yeah, now I remember we constructed this sensor tower over here, so we can get uh, a quicker exploration. And we still have uh, a little bit of stuff, so we can construct another sensor tower. And I think one around there would be beneficial to us to explore these parts. So I think that's what we will do. We build one more sensor tower right there. Oh. And okay. Why are those drones there? Okay, something strange happened there. That's okay. Alright, now we have... Yeah, 
we want to produce oxygen all the time if we can uh, afford that. We're almost out of concrete here. We have another deposit there. Oh, another anomaly. And these are all great new anomalies. No. These are really new technologies. Okay, let's get into the cold wave and uh, see. Oh, we have found polymers here. Okay, that's critical because we can postpone the polymer factory construction. Oh, damn. Okay, we will stay there for a while. Okay, give him some power. Oh, we have to repair. We have to fix him before we're building that, uh, that sensor tower. Okay, so the cold wave is here. Our daytime consumption is just enough. So we have to Sector scanned. turn the nighttime stuff. So we can save some uh, power. And it will last for five soul. What are we researching? Don't be escaping. That's great. And we could use subsurface heaters. Hmm. Okay, let's see how night time goes. Okay, we have that sector scanned yeah it's really quickly scanning the sector because of the sensor tower okay at night time we are losing 19 but we have 13 hours uh, electricity stored so we're good we're good and we have enough Great oxygen discovered. dome streamlining that's a great one we can build domes cheaper okay guys i think we will see each other at the end of the cold wave or if something uh, bad happens or good i hoping for good but there's usually just bad things happening as you can see we survived the cold wave nothing uh, really bad really happened so that's good and i still haven't decided where to put the next dome but i guess that's okay because we don't have enough uh, colonists here to populate another dome so we are still waiting for the population to grow but this uh, site looks promising because we have a vista here we have uh, a metal deposit here we have rare metals and we have water and we have a lot of concrete here as well uh, I try to determine if there is a good spot here, but it doesn't look that promising. Uh, and since we put the sensor tower here, I want to explore these uh, tiles as, as well, because we might find a better spot up here. Well, it's an elevated position, so building uh, wind turbines up here will be more beneficial. So we have to build less for power supply and we have to remember that that the cold when cold is occurring then the power supply is a crucial thing to do also because we have a prefab what prefab uh, a shuttle hub prefab and we want the shuttles 
and that means more fuel and more fuel means we need uh, we need to build another fuel refinery but that will increase our water consumption and we are slowly but surely getting lower with water and that will be another problem so we have to research a lot of biotech to get to the point where we can uh, build moisture evaporators that will be the ultimate solution uh, for our water problems so uh, i get back to you when we explore this area and we'll see uh, where to start to expand our colony even if we don't have the uh, enough colonists to populate another dome we have to start prepare for that so when we have the population to go to another dome everything will be ready now some good things have happened we are at the end of a meteor storm which is uh, doesn't hit our colony that's uh, in itself a good news but Sector we have scanned. two new uh, anomalies that we can scan and we are sending the explorer there right now and i think we found uh, the place we will start building a new uh, colony there however before that before we go uh, over there i decided that we should research this microgravity medicine because we can put that uh, inside our dome here and that means we can get rid of this the infirmary we can place this uh, there and maybe we can uh, build a, a factory here an electronics factory here if we need So that's uh, a good thing. And I think we can uh, research that technology with these two. Let's find out. Even if we, if we don't, we can uh, go for a 66% progress, which will greatly reduce the time it takes. Sector scanned. Also, resurging starting to become a problem. However, we have good problems as well. We have two unemployed uh, colonists, which means when we build the next dome, they will can move there, but I need more unemployed ones. I need at least uh, uh, five or six of them. That way, when they are uh, in the new place, they can uh, man the food buildings and they don't starve. Well, I don't think we can finish with just the anomalies. So that means that we can go up here. Anomaly analyzed. Yeah, the, these were minimal anomalies. Well, it is what it is, but still, we have more things to scan here. But uh, I changed my mind until these dust devils go away. Sector scanned. Oh, a new anomaly. Oh, then we scan just that. Hmm, more metal. And this is a good one. So, I think we should start planning this site. We have two vistas here. We have 
a little bit of water there. I think I, I let go this exploration and instead anomaly analyzed. Oh, we got a new rocket. That's good. Uh, new research technologies are available. Red planet than meets the eye. Well, off oh, nuclear fusion. Deep scanning. That's all right, I guess. But we need biotech because we need water, and we also need, I believe, robotics because the Mohol mine will appear there. Or engineering. I think I will check that. Okay, the dust devils are not gone. Now let's go back to planning. Okay, so... I would want to put a dome here, in a way. That we can reach... That we have the vista. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. Oh, great. Sector scan. Yeah, there is no way putting this dome down. Not to overlap this uh, resource deposit. Which is a slight problem. But also we need that uh, metal. We need a steady income of metal. And if I put the dome there... Okay, let's... Let's try this out. Let's put the dome there and build a concrete extractor. Okay, it's still possible to do it like this. Alright, and now the only thing that remains, if we can put down... Yes, we can. drone commander there and that means we can reach everything here okay I think we will go with this we have three colonists who are unemployed and we have three children who are growing up so that will that means we will have three more people who are unemployed okay i think i start working on uh the colony not the colony the uh, the other colony site and but first uh, we have to survive the dust storm and then we can we can build up the other side and populate with with people. Okay, guys, the dust storm is here, and we already have a leak, but we also find uh, a strange anomaly, anomaly found. and we have we scanned discovered it. Unusual crystals in the remains of a meteorite. The magnified images of their crystalline matrix were broadcast by every major news channel on Earth. One tabloid event claims that the crystal is in fact artificially created, some kind of artwork of a microscopic alien race. The work resembles million tiny cylinders surrounded by flames. If you squint your eyes, uh, the very static of the composition resembles a star map. The image is bordered by double rainbows, while the work has an abstract feeling and very dynamic structure. While well, all this unscientific sen sensationalism had outrage our experts, the publicity provided us with some unexpected benefits. Okay, that's good. So let's bring the explorer back here. 
a little bit of money is always helps, especially that we are running low on electronics. So I think when the dust storm is uh, over, we send the uh, rocket back to Earth and we will bring another one with electronics. And then we have to start uh, start this colony. So I haven't finished the planning. I will continue that, and when the dust storm is over, uh, we'll see each other again. We have the rock space event popped up. Research complete. And we have the microgravity medicine research. That's also a nice thing. Famous rock band called Rock Space wishes to bring their music to Mars for a live performance. They will tour all the different colonies on Mars and have got their own transportation covered. All rock space management needs from us is the permission to play and prepare a dome for the event. We gain morale. If you would have gained money, I would said, of course, let's do this. We have enough troubles, don't rock the boat, I say. I would have been very, very tempted if they would give us money. But that wasn't the case. Okay, now we have homeless people and I think... We have a homeless penalty. So, on birth. So what we'll do is unfortunately we have to destroy this building and i'm afraid that we might have uh, resources are low yeah this is six polymers either have to buy polymers or start using ourselves. Which means we are losing some uh, workforce which we can transfer to the other dome. But I think we have to... Sector scanned. We have to do this. We have leaks, low resources, homeless peoples, so I would say business as usual. Oh great, now we are losing water as well. Meteor shower incoming. <laughs> and the meteor shower, but that might be good for research, so... So that's not that bad, as it seems at first. Also, I put down a few more wind uh, turbines instead of uh, solar panels. That will help us uh, during cold waves. I do believe this dome will need 10 polymer to build, yes. That's not that good. We have some kind of amplification technology, yes. Factory amplification. Oh, that's a good one too. But the other thing that uh, our our research rate is dropping. Oh, and I forget to go and explore those. Okay, now just two hours and the uh, electrostatic dust storm is over. And 
I think we have to we have to utilize these resources maybe start with these because we need metals okay the dust storm is over the meteor storm is incoming in a day let's hope for the best for that and we have full uh, fuel so quickly put down another fuel deposit and it didn't blow up during the electrostatic dust storm that's a bonus all right guys the meteor storm is over and it granted us two more anomalies that we can scan and have research points so we will do that but only doing that in the next episode i hope you enjoyed this one if you do please uh, like the video put a comment down below what you think of my progress so far uh, if you have any tips questions i'm happy to answer that and and yeah basically that's all i see you in the next one bye